Not long ago, I witnessed an astonishing story. For me, it was simply a shock. In one moment, I felt like I was about to boil like a kettle. Last Wednesday, a friend of mine, along with Alex, came over. Since our high school days, we often helped each other out, but in the past few months, I would even say a year and a half, we had grown somewhat distant. He started living with his girlfriend, and he didn't have much time for me. So, our meetings became infrequent and brief. And then, out of the blue, he shows up at my place with suitcases. Help me out, he said. I need a couple of days shelter. Will you take me in? He asked me. Sure, come in. Stay as long as you need. He quickly unloaded his belongings. I provided him with a couch, found bedding, and all the other little things. I warmed up the pizza and got ready to listen to his story. And he told me a very interesting story that led him to me. Alex had a standard work schedule from 8 to 5. He would get up in the morning, have some coffee, and head to work, repeating this routine five days a week. His girlfriend, on the other hand, had shifts, sometimes during the night, and sometimes during the day. After her night shift, she would return home in the early morning when Alex was already gone and would go to sleep. Or maybe she wouldn't sleep. Who knows after such events? On the eve of the events, Alex's boss called and said he needed to pick up some documents from an office located just around the block from Alex's place. This had to be done by 10 in the morning. Alex agreed to take care of it. The task was quite profitable for him. The office where the documents were had been just nearby, so he could sleep until 9 in the morning. Since Juana worked the night shift, Alex set his alarm from 6 to 8 and went to sleep. He thought that an extra two hours of sleep wouldn't hurt anyone. Around half past seven, Alex woke up to the sound of voices. At first, he thought it was the neighbor shouting loudly. Or perhaps people were arguing under his window. But no, the voices were coming from his own apartment. My buddy put on a robe and walked into the corridor. Normally, he walked around the house naked but he thought maybe the neighbor had come over to see Juana. As it turned out, the scene was entirely different. Right there in the corridor, he saw his girlfriend in an embrace with some guy. They didn't notice anything around them. Her dress was already up to her neck, and his shirt was unbuttoned partially. Maybe I should make some tea? Alex suggested. Finally, Juana realized her boyfriend was at home. She began adjusting her dress, trying to say something. You're here? I thought you were at work. And why are you home? Well, I'm also wondering why I'm home when you have plans like these going on here. Please forgive me. I'm leaving now so as not to disturb you. Wada's lover took a moment to recover from the shock, then hastily gathered his shoes and left the apartment. Alex got dressed took care of his errands, delivered the documents to his boss, and requested time off due to family circumstances. He had to explain the reason. His boss understood, granted the time off, so he came back, packed his things, and came over to me. The next morning Alex's phone rang. I inadvertently overheard his conversation with his ex. She immediately got to the point and asked him to send money for the rent. I just paid for the month at the beginning of the week. Just live comfortably until the of a trit number. He replied and was about to end the conversation. But then, a complaint came from the other end of the line. What about next month? What am I supposed to do? His ex-girlfriend asked. I won't have enough for rent and utilities. Well, move to a dormitory or to your mom's village. It doesn't matter. My friend replied, Have you gone mad? How can I live in a dorm? Enough, we're not strangers, pay your share. Lena pleaded. My share is at a different address now, Alex retorted. 
Ask your morning guest. I think he owes you a bit. I'm even afraid to ask. For what period? No, he's got nothing. It's all taken by his wife for diapers. What a burst out. But she quickly regained her composure. Alex, please stop. It was a coincidence. Come over. I'll make something delicious. I'm already full, thanks. Alex replied and hung up, calmly continuing to watch TV. I didn't press Alex for the details of the conversation, everything was already clear. I saw that, despite his calm exterior, he was deeply affected. He stayed at my place for two weeks, then found a place to live and moved out, thanking me for lending a helping hand in a tough moment.